Welcome to Retro Lobby Inc., where the art of poetry and intelligence has survived. Hello, everyone, and today on Retro Lobby Inc., what I'm going to do is read a quote for everyone um, from my series, Quotes of the Extraordinary, and I'm going to update everyone on what's going on with republishing my book. Um, before anyone goes, Peter, on my ass, um, that deer skin behind me, it's actually an elk skin. Um, that is from my father, and um, he died many, many years ago, but he used to um, go hunting for us, and um, he would, you know, kill deer, turkey, you know, whatever, and bring back the meat, and we would eat it. So he was um, sustainable in his hunting, and um, the um, the deer head is at my mom's house, and uh, when we were going up, she would take um, a little, you know, a little round red piece of construction paper and put it on its nose, and that was our Rudolph. So, um, you know, we did not waste the elk, okay? We, we don't do that. Um, his, you know, our background, my background actually is his, his mom, my granny was um, half Native American, so that's their culture to hunt. And I still have family members who hunt. So, um, for all of you who are, for all of you who don't understand that type of culture, um, you know, a, a lot of people, there are a lot of people who hunt just for food, but they do, they do keep the skins and stuff. Um, and that, that's, that's Indian tradition. Um, but, um. No one in my family hunts just for trophies. They don't do it. They, they you know, use everything. So anyway, um, what's going on with my book? Um, Through the Silent called Dare It. I did reformat this. I do have it ready to republish. Everything is done except the About Me and the, I believe, epilogue. Yes, the epilogues. Um, it did upload properly to createspace.com, which is part of Amazon.com. But... Um, I have a small issue with my ex-publisher due to the vending. They, um, all the links were taken back down in January off Amazon except for um, one link. And um, that has to be taken down by my crazy publisher. So I was going to get my lawyer to take care of it. And, um, you know, I actually ended up talking to Brianna's dad. And Brianna's uh, dad, which his name is Shabazz, you know, he's kind of... We're not going to talk about this on video, but anyway, um, he said um, he would take care of the issue for me. He has a very um, lawyer mentality, so he will get it done, and it will be taken care of, hopefully by later today, because today right now is Monday at 549 in the morning, and hopefully it will be taken care of by this afternoon. I'm hoping everyone pray, send good vibes to me, whatever you do. I need the vending issue taken care of so I can republish my books, so I can, you know, get it transferred over to ebook and all that good stuff. Plus, plus I've been forever on this book. I need to do my other books. I need to do my other two books, Bound by Passion, Brilliance Reigns, and I need to do my um, book for my children, which is going to be um, The Magical Caldera. So, oh, I have a lot of stuff planned. I have um, titles of books actually just backed up I think at least to seven now so oh my god oh speaking of my dad I want to show you a picture of my dad because um you know he um he passed away many many years ago but this is a picture of my dad I don't know if you can see this very well that without the glare on it that's that's my dad hold on oh there there's that's my dad and his name was Billy and actually this is who the book's dedicated to my father um, because he bought me my first typewriter and he would always, um, he was always encouraging me to write. He was just, um, you know, we got along. We had this, uh, I don't know how to describe it. We just knew each other. You know, we had this kind of silent vibe and, and we knew each other very well. Um, anyway, this is another picture. Ah, pictures of my dad. Hold on. Ah, there they are. That's my dad. So, um, yeah, I know. He does a little much like me. We have the same nose though. Um. But yeah, that's that's my dad. So, um, very important person in my life. Uh, you know, it's it's amazing when you lose someone what grief can do. I mean, everybody always blames, you know, um, everything on, you know, like drugs and alcohol and this and that. But you know what? It takes an event in a person's life 
to really push them over to the edge where they do crazy stuff and and usually the number one thing that i've seen in my lifetime has been grief and it drives people to just do the worst mad things ever um okay there's a another issue on retro lobby inc and i really don't know how to talk about this one because um you know, it could offend some people, but um, some people tend to read my poetry and my quotes of the extraordinary, and they tend to fall in love with me for some weird, bizarre reason. I don't know why. Um, and I honestly don't know what to say about it. I'm extremely flattered. I mean, really, I've had this happen so many times. Um, See, I had it happen last year, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell everyone about that because it was a very bizarre case. I only told a few people, but you know, me and the person have worked everything out, so we are, you know, cool with each other at this moment. So, you know, and he was having a hard time, so I'm really not gonna discuss that, okay? But and but then I had another uh, person this year who um, the same the same problem occurred, but it wasn't as um, extreme. And um, I am very flattered, and um, I, I do appreciate everyone who reads my poetry. I do love everyone as friends, of course, because most of you are my friends. And um, I just, um, I'm extremely flattered, but I've always had this problem, and this goes back way before I was letting people read my poetry or my quotes, where, um, and I still, <laughs> I still have this problem, oh my God where my exes keep coming back and I don't know what to say about it and uh, I don't know what to do about it it's, it's just maybe I need a big sign no exes allowed or maybe I need a sign on my poetry and quotes um, read at your own risk I don't know but um, when I was 17 um, and I really wasn't letting anyone read my poetry at that point I only let um, my um, AP uh, English teacher <laughs> read some of my poetry and I believe her name was Miss Clay anyone who went to school with you can tell you what her name was and I would have to look it up and I, I'm pretty sure her name was Miss Clay but she um you know she she read my poetry and she was just like blown away because she gave us a certain assignment right and she said um she said all right she said um you guys have to write an essay about you know some it's some literature thing you know about a book and I did mine on 1984 but I did it in poetry and she said so you guys can write it in any form you want to play poetry essay whatever I don't, she, she you know she's like I don't care just get it done you know and um so so like, well okay you asked for it <laughs> so I write the whole thing in poetry and she uh, gave me a poet's market after that um but uh, I, that was the first A I got in her class, and she was not an easy person to get an A from. She was not. Oh, my God. But anyway, um, so that was the, I, I guess, the first time in my life that I really knew, um, you know, I had a lot of talent as a poet. But um, going back to the whole men and the, the, the people, um, the men falling in love with me, I've had a couple of issues with women, but... You know, they're usually a lot easier to deal with because, hello, they're women. <laughs> women are easier to deal with. But um, anyway, I was 17, and I had, was still living at my mom's house. And I hear this knock on the door, and I go answer the door, and there's this guy there. And, you know, he was a little bit shorter than me, and I was just like, who the hell is this? And, um, you know, I'm not going to tell you his name, but he says, hey, Karen, you know, this is so-so. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I remember you, yeah. Because, you know, it's kind of hard to forget someone that, you know, your first kiss. You know, he. this is who this was. This is the guy who taught me how to kiss. The guy that was just wow. And he was. He was wow. And he knew how to play Billy Joel on that piano. So, he was, um, I mean, you know, he was just, he was, he was one of these fabulous guys. But he was kind of, a, you know, kind of fooled himself a little bit. And so he came back and he wanted to talk to me. And I thought, this is getting weird. You know, dude, I haven't seen you in five years, right? So I said, okay. So he said, well, come on out to the car. I want to talk to you. And I was like, okay. So I did. And uh, he said, he said, Karen, he said, I just, I just wanted to tell you I'm sorry for the way I treated you. And I should have listened to you. 
and that I, um, he said, I just, I'm really sorry. And I was like, okay, this is getting weird, but okay, thank you. I, you know, I told, I said, you know, I appreciate it. Thanks. You know, um, and then he says to me, he says, you know, I, I have a baby on the way and I'm getting married. And he says, and I'm going in the military. And it's like a scene, I swear to God, like out of like the 1940s or something. It was really, or excuse me, excuse me, I have to back up a little bit more like, you know, it was like a World War II scene, you know, where, where the guy's going off to the military. It was really like that. It was bizarre. Um, so I just kind of looked at him and I was like, okay, that's really good for you you know I mean what am I supposed to say to that right and then all of a sudden he says he says can I give you one last kiss before I leave and I was like wow so and let me tell you this guy could kiss I mean you know I've, I've kissed plenty of people after this guy and let me tell you this guy can kiss this guy is like never met anyone else who could kiss as good as this guy ever I'm not I'm not joking I've taught people how to kiss this is how good this guy kissed I don't know I don't know where he learned it from or what if it was genetic or whatever but, so like yeah so he gave me a pet goodbye you know and uh never saw him again but that's not the point the point is I always have these exes come back you know and now you know people read my poetry and they, they read my quotes and they're always um uh, some people tend to go head over heels and, you know, um, fall in love and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what to do about it. If you do fall in love with me or something, I'm very flattered. And, you know, if you get mad at me, that's your own fault. I, I really can't do anything about it. And, you know, um, if I wasn't happy with the person I'm with, um, yeah, I might think about it. But, um you know so please read my poetry at your own risk and my quotes you know that's all i know to say about it i really i don't have any advice on it um i don't know it's it's a weird thing and the, and the thing with my ex is always it's so ex is always coming back you know it's a it's a it's a weird thing i, I tried to get rid of another ex before oh my god and you know what he did um i left and i you know he made me upset that morning so i uh I put on my makeup and I left, you know, when I went back home. Damn, if he wasn't there like two hours later, begging me to come back and this and that. And, uh, you know, and that was the second time it happened. And it's happened and happened and happened. So, I mean, I don't know. If you have this problem that I have, God, just say no. Anyway, um, that's all I wanted to say. Maybe I will put up a big thing, read at your own risk or whatever. I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, let's read the quotes of the extraordinary today and let's end with that. And um, I don't really have anything to say about this one. This one I wrote for someone very important to me, very special, someone that I love very much. So that's all I'm going to say about it. And did you know who you are? <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, let's, keep, let's uh, read this. Enigmatically cryptic violins serenade me so precariously, permeating my soul to come hither towards their luscious melodies. And I wrote that one on 2-15-2012, and I read it at 12-26 at night. So, that's what I wrote, and I hope... Um, everyone enjoys that and I'll put it down below in the description and um, hopefully my camera will keep working that's all I have to say about my webcam not working um, but um, if you do love someone please please treasure them please keep them close to you and um, please love them while you have them don't treat them bad you know, don't come back to them years later and say, look, I'm, I'm sorry for not treating you well. Treat that person well while you have them in your life. Forever how long it is. You know, and I know it's not always easy to get along with people. I'm not the easiest person to get along with by any means. Um, you know, I am with my children, but with other people or, or people that I don't necessarily like, no, I'm not. Um, but anyway, um... That, that's about it I hopefully the next video my book will be uploaded and all the links will be changed and everyone can buy my book so um oh yes 
Oh, yes. Um, on the t-shirts, on the merch, down in the description, click that. It's a spreadshirt, um, spreadshirt.com link down there in the description below. Um, I um, put a big um, on the shirts. I put a giant, um, giant um, picture on my book cover, and it looks awesome. So go buy that. It's awesome. Um, I do, I do have one shirt, but I'm gonna have to get another one coming in because um, I had to switch everything out on that because you say retrolobby.com. Now everything switched over to retrolobbyinc.com. So and eventually that website will be moved over to a WordPress website because of really, um, I don't like Blogger very much at all. So, um, even though it's gotten better, I, I don't really like it. So, but anyway, um, love all you guys. I'm going to try to do another, another poem for you guys. The next one in this book, da, 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 and hopefully I'll have some hard balance to give away or something soon, um, is Ruefully Kissing Misery. And I am going to read 25 poems out of this book. There is like 108 in my book. So, I'm going to read 25 online. Then after that, if you want to see what happens next, which is a lot, um, you have to buy it. So anyway, let's hope my webcam keeps working. Um, I love you all. Blessings to you all. Hope you guys are having a fabulous summer. Um, I may be going down to Savannah soon and then maybe to Jekyll Island. I don't know. I'm refusing to go down to the Gulf of Mexico for the simple reason it's polluted. And there's still like uh, chemicals in the water, even though they said they don't, but it was on discovery.com, which I trust most of the time. So anyway, love you all. Blessings to you all. I hope you enjoyed the quote. Um, and that's about it. Bye.